What is going on you guys? It is that time again for another player error project. This time we're going to be doing Mr. Mike Haynes. I mean, he had a 14 year career. Seven with the Patriots, seven with the Raiders. Um, nine time Pro Bowl, two time All Pro. So an absolute banger of a player. Um, won a Super Bowl with the Raiders. He was the defensive rookie of the year in 1976 and the defensive player of the year in 1984 member of the 1980s all-decade team, and then a member of the 75th and 100th anniversary team of the NFL. And then he was inducted to the Hall of Fame in 19... What was it here? 1997, after his fourth look. So, an absolute awesome player. Uh, we'll turn it around. This is going to be kind of a different player error project, one where I've pieced it um, together through the years. I didn't do this all at one time. I haven't actually been able to do one of those in a while, um, but I'm having fun even just piecing them together when I can. So we'll turn it around and get to some cards. So I've been meaning to finish this player error project for literally 10 months. <laughs> that intro you seen um, was when I was stationed in Virginia Beach and now we're in Lemoore, California. So. Uh, it's been a long time coming to finish this one. So, Mr. Mike Haynes, this is his rookie card. Um, beautiful 1977 tops. Man, I need to keep looking at the camera, not <laughs> the card. It'll get all, all focused and stuff. Um, but beautiful, beautiful card. When you send him TTM or ask for a TTM autograph from him, he doesn't always add the Hall of Fame inscription. Uh, matter of fact, it's it's not very often that he does. Um, so this is this is, I have multiple rookie cards of his that are signed, and this is by far and away um, the best one. And you'll see the rest of them at the end of this stack. Nice second year, and I haven't seen him TTM in quite a while. It's been, I mean, I don't know. I would say eight plus months, maybe nine plus months since. I've seen a return from him. Um, that's not uncommon. A lot of these athletes and Hall of Famers just get so flooded um, with mail. I can imagine how old and tiring it gets to clear your fan mail out just for a week later. You to have another couple hundred items. I like that one. That one's really nice. That's a nice 1981 tops. All with the Patriots. He would later go on to the Raiders, which you'll see here shortly. Um, here's one I'd love to upgrade. Um, nice signature and all, but you see it's streaky. Uh, it's in black. There's no Hall of Fame inscription. Um, but hey, it's a very, very nice placeholder for now. Unlike this butte here with the trifecta, the blue, the Hall of Fame inscription. I guess the trifecta would be the rookie card, so this isn't a trifecta, but um, very nice. Um, very nice card nonetheless. You know, I, <laughs> I never noticed this till right now that it says NFL 100, um, that he was on the NFL Top 100 team um, when the NFL had their 100th year anniversary. Was it last year or the year before? Really, really cool. I did not know <laughs> that that was inscribed. And that was, uh, I didn't say anything about that, but that's, he moved on to the Raiders here in this one. The 1986 tops. Who else has a 1986 tops? Um, or who is in the 1986 tops rookie? Jerry Rice, maybe Steve Young. I think he is such, and this is his last player era card. Once again, this would be a great, oh, it, out of focus. Um, this would be a great upgrade as well. Um, you see it's pretty streaky and black. Um, so we'll see what we can do there. And then, you know, I, I love, love, love my stickers. This one's out of order. Um, but man, these things are so cool. And then I have my official plaque. Um, you can't you can't buy these. You know, this is a one of a kind that I put in my 
nine page binder there for my Hall of Fame player error project. So don't ask in the comment section below. Okay, you can't buy these and I don't make them for anyone else. It takes me a long time to make that. And then all of these are duplicates. Um, have a bunch of his rookie cards and you notice that none of them are have the Hall of Fame inscription, just that first one that I showed you. So we'll mosey on through these since you've already seen them all. But I suggest, um, this is a gorgeous autograph, I suggest if you haven't sent to him or you have any interest in sending to him, if you're a Hall of Fame collector or Patriots or Raiders, um, go ahead and send one out in the mail. Um, he's He's a younger Hall of Famer, he's not, you know, in his 70s or 80s or anything. So I imagine he'll turn it back on um, eventually. I mean, it could be this week. It could be a year from now. Um, but if your item isn't in his house when he turns it back on, well, obviously you're not going to get it back. <laughs> so that is that. Till next time, adios, be safe, bye-bye. Toodles.